Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Death Beach here, and in today's video, we're gonna be looking at the Spotify wraps and asking, do these numbers matter? And how can we utilize these numbers to turn into funding our musical endeavors, right? Now we can see here that Spotify at 0.007 cents per stream, mind you, they wanna lower that, to make $50,000. Okay, you need 7,142,857 streams. That's a lot of streams to get to. And just imagine this now, if you're signed, okay, you only get 12% of that. Title comes in better, but again, if you're giving up 12% of this, you kind of don't have anything. And here at the very bottom, we see more numbers. Now, if you have a fan base, okay, a thousand fans, which whenever we look at some of these numbers, shouldn't be that difficult to attain, really, all right? And they each give you $50 a year, that is $50,000. That is monetizing your community through NFTs and social tokens. Now, the best part is your music can still exist on Spotify and on Tidal. However, your community, your fans, that are invested in your community are gonna make sure that you're hitting these types of numbers on Spotify and Tidal. So now just imagine with me for just a second that your thousand fans, okay, gave you $50 each to be part of your community a year in some way, okay? Buying NFTs, purchasing more social tokens, something of this nature. Then you're also making $50,000 a year in streaming some combination of Spotify, Tidal, YouTube, so on. Well, now you're making $100,000 a year. So everybody has this plan to try to up their streaming numbers, which I just don't really understand. We need to focus less on Spotify giving us these vanity metrics and more on what do our fans like about what we're doing? How can we do more of that and make it more personable for everyone. And from that, your music's going to get shared so, so much more, and you're going to hit these types of really large numbers. All right. So we see here, hopeful artist. Okay. Um, this is a real slide. I just, you know, I'm, I'm not, we're not calling anybody out or anything like that. So I just plugged myself in here. 313,700 streams with 105,300 listeners. Now, 313,700 streams at 0 0.007 cents a stream is only $2,196. That's not even the worst part about making this much money. The worst part is this gets paid out every couple of months in chunks. Unbelievable versus selling your NFTs, you, you could very well sell them in a weekend. 105,300 listeners. Now, dividing this into the number of streams, it's essentially 2.97 listens per streamer or per listener. We know that the distribution is not that even. We know that some people are actually fans and that they're streaming songs over and over again. And we know that there's other people that listen to a song once and that was their only interaction with hopeful artists. So how can we focus on the core people that are really helping making this stuff happen? Well, Spotify gives us some better metrics or some more metrics, I should say. Whoa, real quick guys, almost forgot. The Music NFT Hackathon coming up in December, the 14th through the 16th, 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Each one of those nights, this is a live training to learn about crypto, NFTs, and how to use them with music, right? To go right along with the subject of this whole entire video. It's absolutely perfect. And this Sunday, we have Fireside Crypto, doing it with hard drive Sunday, 1, 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Just gonna chat about 
crypto and things Web3 and music related. Now, this is a different from a different artist, but I've seen quite a few of these where everybody's numbers are up quite a bit. I do think streaming picked up in popularity last year with the uh, lockdowns and everything. But you're up a thousand percent in listeners. You know, how many of those listeners become fans? Your streams are up a thousand percent, but at 0. 0.007 cents, how much is that? Okay. If you were making $70 and it went up a thousand percent, you would now have $700. So there's not that much um, extra that you're getting, right? At, at, at these rates. Playlists up a thousand percent. That is amazing exposure. Shares, people sharing your music up a thousand percent. Now, this is the best metric on here that shows people are interacting with and liking your music because they're sharing it. Now, you combine total shares with top listeners, and now I think we're kind of talking about something where uh, Spotify is benefiting you in some sort of way. It's helping get your music out there. But where are you bringing these people? How are they finding you? Are you on social media? Is your social media presence good? From there, how can they learn more about you? How can they interact with you? Where are you doing live streams? Where are you doing AMAs? Where are you discussing with your fan base your upcoming songs and projects? So what is a release? Whenever we're talking about putting stuff on Spotify or, or, or doing an NFT, this is a slide from a previous thing I did, but it, it's really good, I think. This Well, the next couple of slides. So what is a release? A release is creative output. It is the strategic presentation of a new project. It is a coordinated effort to bring attention to new work. That is what a release is. Can we monetize better? Yes, we can. Welcome to Web3 Technology. We can create a backstage pass for your fans for every day. Web3 allows for our fans to have our NFTs or our social tokens inside of a digital wallet, but those assets travel with them everywhere that they go on the internet. Now, the infrastructure for this isn't laid out everywhere yet, but it's most certainly coming. Just look at what people are investing in right now. Uh, not just crypto investments, but look at really large stock market tech stuff. Virtual reality, okay, technology, AI, all of these things are blowing up and they're all banking on Web3. And Web3 is already here. It's just a technology stack, right? It's already here. We can already utilize it in websites. And as music artists, we just need to understand better what this technology is capable of doing and what it allows us to do, the types of experiences we can create and bring these experiences out of this virtual world and into real life, okay? At shows, I mean, perform virtually for people, live stream, but maybe there should be actual people in the room with you, watching you, right? Like you're performing live for people. Listen, go to your favorite local venue. That's the really cool spot. I'm in San Diego. We could say, let's go to the Casbah. Perform live there. Very limited audience. Hire a film crew. Live stream it sell tickets for the live stream, or they have to buy a certain NFT or own a certain amount of your social tokens, something like this. And so how are we gonna monetize this stuff? Well, NFTs are social tokens. Social tokens give you access to a community. Social tokens give you a voice within the community, such as governance, Social tokens also give you clout within a community, such as an NFT that's really rare, or you have more social tokens, or more of an NFT from a certain series. You've collected a certain number of songs, a certain number of remixes of a song, 
okay? Now look at who owns CryptoPunks and Bored Ape Yacht Clubs and think about the connections you could make being in those clubs. These are online communities of, as you're seeing, very famous people now and obviously some really smart people who were in early on NFTs are in these groups. They're sharing information, jokes, memes, uh, but I would think that they're sharing information, strategies, you know, what they're investing in, what they're working on right now. So imagine having access to those things or sharing your idea and getting feedback from some of these people. And I think this all comes down to there needs to be a new mindset, okay? The old way of streaming music and putting your music out to stream for your fans, that's, that's very two-dimensional. And we're moving into this new virtual space, right? And our reality is three-dimensional. And I say NFTs and Web3 technology, you must think four-dimensionally really to fully understand it because these technologies are very flexible and they kind of reach in a few different directions all at once. So mindset, okay? There is a new way to build wealth. We can leverage the full value of community and use this leverage to benefit the whole community. All right, DB, it's sounding really good, a little esoteric, but how? Listen, you need planning, strategy, and build a team and this is the beginning of your core community. You shouldn't be trying to do this stuff alone. There's just too many moving parts, and especially with the crypto aspect, you have to think about tokenomics. Like, what does the token do? How many of the tokens are there? How is it giving the access? How is everything working? On top of coming up with the creative, that is the song and the artwork, or how you're trying to express yourself, the story. As the artist, you should be the storyteller or whoever's leading your brand. You are, they're, they're the storyteller. But you have to have story, you have to have narrative, something for people to connect to, okay? Let them connect to it, let them contribute to it. Do you guys like this color or this color? Let them vote on it. That is what the governance is for. Let them have invested interest on top of a monetary investment in buying the NFTs or the social tokens even join the club. But anyway, back to this. Once you have your core team and you do your first couple of releases and you think of how to gamify getting people to join your community, I'm doing this in the Crypto Music Club, by the way. You guys just might not even know it yet. But you have to think about ways to gamify things Think about how many people you might actually want in your community and how you want the community to contribute. These are the things that I'm working on right now. And then after you have your core team and everything and you have these other ideas, really start building the community. And now you're ready for you know, your big NFT idea or your social token, things like this. Listen, if you got something out of today's video, go ahead and smash that like button. And I hope to see you again soon.